In this video, I want to demonstrate some performance characteristics of the Lumia 1520. You do that by doing some comparison with other Lumia devices. First of all, let's do a built-in app, the calendar app. You can see all the devices open at exactly the same speed, so no difference on built-in apps. You can see that again if we do it with the Office app here. Again, all the apps open at the same speed. But what about third-party apps? Is there any difference there? Let's try with the official Twitter app. All three devices, you can see the 1520s first, the 925 in the middle there, and the 620 on the end are slower. So there is a difference when you're opening third-party apps. We'll do another example of that. This is the Bing News app. Again, you can see the 1520 is first, followed by the 925, and then the 620. Not that much difference between the 1520 and the 925. You can see again here with here maps, you see the very little difference in this case, but the 620 is taking a little bit longer. Let's look at a, another aspect of performance. This is startup time. We're just going to do the 1520 and the 925 here. Now, why there a difference? Well, that's because they've got different chipsets in them. The 1520 is the first Windows phone with a Snapdragon 800 processor, that's quad processor quad core rather 2.2 gigahertz versus the dual core in the 925 now that's 1.5 gigahertz and the 620 as we saw earlier that's running a slower speed uh, dual core processor so which one starts up quicker well not really a surprise here the 1520 is a little bit quicker you can see it's got to the windows phone logo screen and it finishes going into the start screen but you can see there's not all that much of a difference between the two devices uh, let's look at some of the general performance. If you're just moving around the UI, you really won't notice any difference. I mean, Windows Phone has always had a good reputation for being very slick, and it's only the transitions that you see sort of any delay. You can see here in the Store app, no difference. Note there is some uh, difference here, though, in the actual screen. What you can see on screen, slightly better on the 1520 with a 6-inch screen. Not really a surprise there. It's 1080p uh, versus a 720p screen. Uh, just look at a couple of other things let's look at the web browser for example this is where we do see a difference it's where you get resource intensive rendering something like a web page all about windows phone site here renders quicker on the 1520 that applies to other resource intensive apps as well something like microsoft photosynth for example so there we go there's a performance comparison between some different lumia devices